In this video, I will show you how to create a hiding header effect like this. That is, the header stays fixed and once the user scrolls past a certain limit, we will make it hidden. And it stays hidden until the user starts scrolling back upwards. So why use it? Because it gives the benefits of a fixed header which can help reduce your site's bounce rate. While at the same time, it gets hidden and frees up the screen space when not required. To show you how to do that, I will use this bootstrap template to create a sample web page. It gives a full width header with a black background. Now it works as usual. If we scroll down, the header also scrolls with the page. So I have downloaded both the examples along with the core bootstrap files. Then extract it into the demo project folder. And then correct the paths to make the links work. Load the page in localhost and you can see that the demo is working as we have seen earlier. Our header is wrapped in an HTML5 header tag. Let us give it an ID, site header. Then create a JavaScript file and link to it from the HTML page using script src. Moving to the coding part, open an anonymous function, then define the necessary variables. First one is the document element object and the second one is the window object. The whole functioning is based on checking the user's scroll position. So define four variables. First, the current scroll position, second variable to hold the previous scroll position, third and fourth the current and previous scroll direction that is up or down. Initiate the direction variables with zero that is the user has not scrolled yet. Next let us see how it is going to work. First we will create a scroll event listener. Then create a function to check the scroll position each time the user scrolls. We will use the current scroll and previous scroll variables to hold these values. Then compare the two values to find the direction of scroll. That is if current scroll is greater than previous scroll, the user has scrolled down and vice versa. We will use the value 1 to denote scroll up and value 2 to denote scroll down. Lastly, we compare the current and previous direction. And if it has changed, we will call another function to show or hide the header. We are doing this additional checking to improve the performance of our code so that the function is called only if the user changes the scroll direction. For example, First, the user scroll down after reaching the page, then current direction is 2, previous direction is 0, so hide the header. User scrolls down again, so the current direction is still 2, but since the previous direction is also 2, do nothing as the header is already hidden. Lastly, the user scrolls up. So current direction is 1, previous direction is 2, so show the header. Let us create the scroll event listener and check scroll is the callback function. Then define the check scroll function. Then 
the function in turn called another function called toggle header so we want to define it as well at the top select the site header element and assign it to a variable then inside the check scroll function find the current scroll position of the user using javascript scroll by or scroll top properties then compare it with the previous position and find the direction whether it is a scroll down or a scroll up then if the current and previous direction are not equal call the toggle header function finally assign current direction to previous direction assign the current scroll value to the previous scroll variable inside the toggle header function check the value of the scroll direction if it's 2 add the class hide to the element and if it's 1 remove the class hide Next we have to set the styles. For that open the CSS file. First let us set some rules for the header element. Set the position to fixed. Top offset 0 with 100%. Give a small transition effect. and set the iser index to a higher value then set the rules for the height class find the height of the header here it's 56 pixels so set the top offset to minus 56 pixels now if i reload the page you can see that the header hides when i scroll down and shows when i scroll up so it's working as expected now the header hides right away when i start scrolling from the top but what if i want to keep it visible up to a certain position and hide it only after that point for example i want the header to remain visible until i scroll up to 200 pixels and hide after that initiate a variable called threshold and set its value to 200 and initiate another variable toggled which is always true or false then back in the toggle header function add one more condition to the if statement check if current scroll is greater than the threshold we have set at the top set toggle to true else if nothing changed set toggle to false finally return that variable inside the check scroll function above Check if toggled is true or not and if true change the value of previous direction. I hope the logic is clear. That is we want to retain the value of previous direction until toggle header returns true. Reload the page again and you can see that the header hides only after I scroll past 200 pixels. If you found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe for more tips like this. Also, you can find the code I used in my GitHub account. Thank you for watching.